Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Just to finish up this last video for this uh, track lighting at this loft apartment in Lodo. So again, here's the track system coming across to the box and then the conduit going right there through the wall. So you saw that earlier. We put a junction up above there behind that wall, fished these wires down, had to scoot this box over to attach to the stud because this was too far already cut out and it wouldn't adhere there. And then on the other side, it just trimmed out really nice with the transformer. So we're all wrapped up. We were able to come basically down, power out of this light box. Um, sorry, I'm trying to show you here. Power out of that light box there, into there. Power came down with an MC, went through the wall to the transformer. From the transformer, goes back up to the J box and then hits the second J box up here after that J box in the ceiling. So we kind of did a loop there. And here's a schematic of what we did. So basically in a nutshell, see if I can set that up though. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, so if you can see that we had power coming into our box that we set right here with this J box because it wasn't there. Brought power down to our switch box. That switch box controls the transformer. Steps it down to 12 volts, comes back up to this J box. This J box goes then to this uh, track box and track light this way. So um, in a nutshell, we had to do a loop, we made sure we had a neutral left in this box like code says. And um, Got that safed off. So anyways, we'll see if this thing pops. It's been about 10 minutes. I haven't had the transformer pop yet. But I think the reason why the transformer was popping was two reasons. One, uh, the nipple there was heating up and melted the neutral insulation and it was touching. That was even before the hot decided to touch. And the second thing was that they tied the primary and secondary neutral in the switch box together. Rather than having the secondary neutral on the 12 volt go on a separate MC cable up to the track light, they brought that in the primary and secondary into this switch box right here tied it together and went up to the light you can't double up on that neutral it needs to be independent of each other otherwise you're going to get more current feeding in backwards through the transformer um, so anyways yeah so it's kind of an interesting one we haven't done something like that in a long time as far as setting these transformers trying to figure out why this thing was still popping and maybe that was also the extra current and heat that was happening up there on the light bulb too um, but anyways, I think we fixed it. Thanks.